in both these cases, the question you're being asked is graph. And I take it, I get it, that graphing, it, it accesses another part of your brain, but it's kind of like, nah, I'm not used to using that part of my brain very much, right? We need to change that because graphing is central to the way that two unit and extension one work, how all the ideas fit together. When we have a look at this, how do we graph? What I want you to remember is that every time you see an absolute value, go back to that very first time we wrote the definition. Absolute value of A is this thing, okay? I'm gonna do that here, and then we're just going to follow the results. In place of writing the absolute value, which is kind of like shorthand, I'm gonna expand it all out. It will become much longer to write and quite cumbersome, honestly. However, I can actually work with it. So, starters, that thing has no absolute values in it, so I'm not gonna muck with it, okay? However, when I move to the next part, there are two cases, two versions of this guy, right? Jekyll and Hyde. There's this one. Sometimes the absolute value of x plus one is just x plus one. When is that? When x plus one is positive, or zero actually doesn't really matter. So this is what I will write, okay? Um, I'm reading in shorthand, that's when x is greater than negative one, okay? But I write it like that to make it clear where I go. That's one version. Then there's the other version, right? It's going to be not just regular x plus one, but negative x plus one, okay? However, I know this is a minus sign already hanging out the front, right? So that negative and the minus sign become plus. Okay? So this is the other version of absolute value of x plus one if x plus one is negative. You with me so far? Now let me just point out, I, I said before, you know, oh, this is the one where you don't worry about negative signs. I don't like that as a definition because clearly you must worry about negative signs, right? And they will creep in if they're part of the question. So it's not just that they disappear, just be careful with the definition. Okay, now that I've gotten rid of the absolute value signs, I can actually collect some like terms. So again, draw my two, my big race with two lines on it. Two lots of this, take away one lot. What do you get left with? Then you just have x plus one, right? So that's one version. What about the second row? Two x plus one, and then another one. Well, that's three of them, right? So I guess I could write that in expanded form. That's three outside of x plus one, but I've just expanded because I'm going to graph this in a second. If I've got the other case. Are you happy with that? Okay, algebraically, I'm pretty happy. I don't think there's anything else I can do. So now I'm going to draw this guy, right? I've got my set of axes here. Now, um, some textbooks, some places that teach, say that there's a particular point at which everything changes. And that's often, but not always, called the critical point. Critical is a bit of a catch-all word. It just means important. So different people use it in different contexts, which I'm just generally going to avoid it. But sometimes you'll hear the word used, and this is what they mean. The point where everything changes for this is clearly x equals negative 1. At x equals negative 1, that's when he switches over from this guy to this guy. Okay? So I want to put in x equals negative 1 on the graph. Uh, let's put it there. Then I'm going to look to the left, then to the right. 3x okay? x plus 3. 3x plus 3. What does that look like? Hmm. Uh, it's going to be very steep. Right? And this means it's being shifted vertically upwards. Do you agree? Now, it would pass through 3 if I went through there, but I don't, because remember I'm only on the left hand side. But if I followed it down, back where it comes from, surprise, surprise, it's going to intersect with negative 1. So let me just move that over a little bit. Like so. Are you okay with that? It's nice and steep because of the gradient that I've written up here. So this is that branch. Do we go around that way? Okay, I've done one half, this is not too difficult. What about the other half? I know it's late on a Friday afternoon, but surely we can graph this, but x is greater than negative one. What's it gonna do? Can you describe it to me? <coughs> Gradient, positive, negative? It's gonna be going up? 
not very steep, not nearly as steep as this, but it's sort of going to hit at one. Do you agree? Um, that's it. You're done. It looked weird and intimidating before, but if you are patient with it and you take it down to size, that's fine. Thank you. Uh, that's all you end up with. No big deal. 